the writing was on the wall for a while but the doomsday is finally here sebi has made the announcement which everyone was dreading especially the fno traders i leave the fine print for you to read directly on the news websites however note one thing this is not fno alone fno's underlying is real equity if you are buying nifty for example or selling it in fno then nifty does not move directly the underlying stocks move and that moves nifty or for that matter bank nifty so you need to move a stock like say reliance or hdfc in fno the actual stocks have to move in the cash market since this news just came in 2 3 minutes back i have not been able to digest it fully i am myself overwhelmed so i can't predict or tell you what is my expectation on wednesday so brace for impact if i am reading it correctly there could be a severe correction at least to begin with on wednesday when the markets open at 9:15 but that probably explains the extremely low volume day today in nifty bank nifty some bank stocks were still having okay volumes that is because it was bank nifty expiry today because of the holiday tomorrow today's nugget section also is probably really really appropriate and i had no idea about this event when i planned that it is about the possible impact of a crash on your swps and you can extrapolate that to your sips also hi everyone welcome to the first update of october and despite the low market drag today two stocks still hit 52 weeks high britannia and hindalco market bet is rarely good these days it was not very bad tech mahindra was at the top followed by mnm on bank nifty expiry indusind was the worst performer trend closed in the green today half percent but bl was down half percent now there is a period of chaos because a lot of data points about nifty and bank nifty are still not carrying trend and bl they are still reflecting divis lab and lti mindtree today's graph is not very different from yesterday just that the greens are little stronger because two of the five largest sectors were in green three in red the best today was software which was worst yesterday oil and gas was the worst in last two weeks metals have done the best up 8% however today not much of a gain food and drug retailing has been the worst performer over the last two weeks today also it was the worst food and drug retailing is this particular sector primarily there is only one stock dmart which is avenue supermarts down 3% today nifty and bank nifty three consecutive red days now it was all good all green tech mahindra was the best stock today 3.1% up the volumes however low but that was across the board in most stocks today nifty's trading range was 156 points it was a little choppy but still not much for the traders for the day this is despite the gap up opening that nifty had bank nifty's trading range was just 0.75% or 400 points similar pattern to nifty again not much for the traders lands had another big trading day 1.6% trading range but continuously down atel was reasonably choppy up and down made literally two trips across this 0.9% lnt was continuously down it stocks infosys continuously up tcs also was up but it spent most of its time below the line bank nifty sbi was up pnb was down but pnb's volumes are fantastic hdfc was down kotak was up icici was up xs was down we have seen these patterns earlier also this restricts the overall movement in bank nifty irfc was up a percent yesterday today it was down 2% indusind fell the most 2.6% besides oracle which was down a bit all it stocks were up a lot and most of them closed at the highest point of the day which was the best part no such luck for defense stocks nearly everything down cochin shipyards graph is back masgaon down bl down hl up very little consumption stocks were mixed back britannia made a high itc was down nestle was up varun beverages was up a little about a percent britannia up 1.7% the non edible consumption stocks however a bit weak hl down titan down asian paints down fidelite down trend up very little trend is not showing any benefit of getting included in nifty and same with bl investment banking had a great day today BSE up five percent, Nippon AMC up five percent, K FinTech up twelve percent. Our Motilal Oswal corrected. The numbers today are not that bad, and I hope Wednesday's chart is not in deep red either. 
I would be happy if he get away with one or two percent down. Slightly green or a lot of green would be a big bonus. IT was up today one point two percent. FIDI data was not out till the time I started shooting. Auto was up a little. Nifty, Next Fifty up a little. Energy down. Two stocks which are up most: Infosys and SBI in Nifty top ten. Gold up seventy five thousand. Silver cross ninety one thousand. Bitcoin again a shy short of sixty four thousand. Dollar continues at eighty three eighty. And Brent corrected a little more, seventy one point two nine now. U.S. markets were up a lot yesterday, except Amazon. Everyone was green. Adani Enterprises is going ahead with a one point three billion QIP. This is low cost borrowing, and this is something I love about the Adani Group. They really take loans at a very low interest rate via QIPs, and they usually don't dilute equity at all. It is likely that RBI will maintain status quo in October policy, which means no interest rate cuts for now. Till December. Now, while economy is not doing so well as per the updates I've been sharing, GST collections are on the rise 6.5 percent year on year. Remember, this is compared to last year, not previous quarter. Now, one bad incident in Chennai where Apple's new plant was burnt a little or a lot, I don't know, but it seems that Apple will shift the production of iPhones to China. Terrible news for India in how we manage our infrastructure. There is also a news of Samsung strike getting uglier in Chennai. Market bad today also not that great. Twenty nine stocks down, twenty one up. Infosys, M and M, S B I, T C S, Adani Enterprise were up a lot. I am seeing Adani Enterprise at the top after a long time. Bajaj Auto, Airtel, O N G C, H U L, and Reliance were the worst. Reliance is continuously in the bottom five at least three or four out of five days. Indusind is back at the top of the fear zone. Next fifty also twenty eight stocks down twenty two up Siemens was up most three point six percent followed by Adani Energy A B B Indigo D L F what was down Chola Mandalam Investment I C I C Prudential P N B I R F C and Avenue Supermarts besides Adani Energy the entire power pack was down today even Tata Power down a little point three percent and besides H P C L the entire oil pack was down. 1% cut for oil and 0.5% for the power pack food and tobacco itc was down but the sector did not go anywhere 0.1% that too on low volumes mostly it was saved by britannia's gain 1.7% no such respite for the consumption pack down a percent the fall was led by hl today 1.2% but again on low volumes aerospace and defense red with four stocks 50% away from 52 week high M&M today saved the auto sector. Otherwise, all stocks were down. Banking no big cuts. SBI was up a percent. Kotak Mahindra one point five percent. Today, Varun Beverages and United Spirits came back one percent each. Chemical sector corrected today. Asian Paints down one point five percent. L&T and RVNL both were down. As a result, construction and engineering was down. Cement was, however, up. Adani Enterprises is still eighteen percent away from fifty-two week high. Trent is still in green. However, it has not done well at all. Since the inclusion in Nifty last week, Paisa Bazaar up seven percent, Kfin up twelve percent. This pack was doing really well today. Deep cuts in insurance, each and every company was down. While Motilal Oswal and three sixty one were down, but investment banking did pretty well. Good performance by most players in the heavy machinery segment. Siemens, ABB, Polycab, Vedanta and Hindalco were up, but all other players were down. Hindustan Zinc continues in the red zone. The number of greens in pharma has reduced a lot. The sector did not go anywhere today. Specialty retailers led by Kalyan Jewelers up today also, but Titan and Page Industries were down. Telecom all top three players, Bharti, Indus Tower, and Vodafone corrected. My trades for the first day of October again no profit, no loss kind of day, but I today sold Infosys, TCS, Supreme Industry, Kfin Technologies. Infosys, TCS, and Supreme Industries were primarily to free up some capital. Kfin was to neutralize the slight losses. Which I incurred in selling all of these three companies. I didn't want to start October on a bad note. Motilal Oswal was down a lot, so I bought that. I bought JM Financial. I actually did not want to buy JM Financial. I thought I had bought intraday, but I ended up buying in CNC. Probably sell it first thing on Wednesday. If the markets crack on Wednesday, a little cash will be more than handy. Time for today's nugget. We will simulate a crash. In the SWP Excel that I had showcased in my video, if you have not seen the SWP video yet, I'll leave the link in the end and also as a comment. Let me jump directly to Excel and simulate a crash. 
in three use cases because a lot of people right now are jittery what will happen to their SIPs, SWPs or if they want to start SWP after watching my video then what if a crash happens? The first model is for passive income and we'll simulate a crash in it. Suppose we were investing 1 lakh every month starting off August 24. It was leading to a corpus of 35 lakh at the end of December 40. Remember the idea was to generate a take home of 10,000 rupees from this corpus. Now let's simulate a crash in October. At this stage the corpus is around 2 lakh. Let's suppose 20% of the wealth is eroded. So let's get rid of 40,000 plus 12,000 which is about 50,000 for simulation which is like a withdrawal. So this withdrawal obviously reduced the corpus suddenly. This number should have otherwise become more than 3 lakh. Note this number has become 31,91,000. Let me undo. This was close to 35 lakh. Suddenly one crash here which eroded your wealth by 40,000 only that reduced 4 lakh in the corpus. Now let's suppose this crash continues in the next month. The fallen percentage could be same say 20% but this time the number will be lower. So let's say 40,000. So this amount is now 29,64,000. Your corpus has reduced from 35 lakh to 29 lakh. It is a steep drop. However, this is not how stock markets play. Corresponding to this fall, let me mark it in red. There will be a recovery also. So let's suppose after two months the markets recover. Let's suppose market recovers the amount say 10,000 every month for the subsequent four months. So we are back to 33 lakh. Yes, we did lose some money here, but it's not that bad. Now what if after this fall we have some money and we add 50,000 more? Just adding 50,000 during the cash, your corpus increased by 2.5 lakh. So during these falls, it is always a good idea to add more if you can. Also, while the fall was 20% in each of these months, the impact was not high because your corpus had not grown yet. Let's suppose this corpus was already at 10 lakh. So this amount was 1.19 CR. Now let's get the fall back. So this time if market falls by 20%, you will lose 2 lakh, 2 lakh here. And we'll recover 1 lakh every month in these 4 months corresponding to the 4 lakh we lost here. So overall we are at 1.11 CR, not 1.19 CR. That is because we started with a larger corpus. So bigger the corpus, the larger the fall and you need a longer period to recover. Next model is never out of money crash. So we started with 12 lakh rupees and a withdrawal of 10,000 every month. We'll simulate in October a crash which will take out 20% of your wealth. Let me take a note of the initial corpus also 11.4 as the ending corpus. So in October we are going to reduce. So we are just left with 1 lakh not 11 lakh. But we have recovery also. Let me first extend the crash to two months and then let's recover around two and a half lakh rupees, say 50,000 for five months. 11.69 versus 11.4 because we have recovered slightly more than what we lost. So, in the bigger scheme of things, not much of an impact. If we reduce one of these 50,000, then it becomes significantly less. So, again, you have to add more money during the crash, especially if the crash is long and last two, three months or maybe an year. This could also be a period which is called market going sideways, which means market is neither going down or up after a fall. Now, suppose you have put some money aside for your kid's education and there is a crash. What will happen? So we were investing 1 lakh for a period of time. This time, let me take a different example. Suppose the crash happens in Jan. The corpus was 5 lakh at this time. Let's cut it down by 20%. 1 lakh fall here and 80,000 fall here. This amount was roughly 50 lakh. Suddenly 50 lakh has become 32 lakh. Now let's recover 1 lakh 80,000 by 40,000 every month. 140,000 for 5 months back to 49 lakh. One thing to note is that if the consumption is nearby within next few months or maybe in near, then it is not a good idea to be invested in stock markets at this time. Be it equity, be it mutual funds, ETFs, the money should be taken out and probably put safely into fixed deposits. Especially if it is for a non-negotiable expense like education or marriage of your kid. I'll leave the Excel in the comment section so that you can try and create your own crashes. 
but there are some suggestions from my side markets will eventually recover unless economy goes into depression the only example big one which i can think of is japan which i take many times i don't think india is going into japan mode at all irrespective of whether we fall or not irrespective of whether the fall is big or not irrespective whether it is a crash or a correction recessions also are temporary it could be one year long it could be several months long it could be a sideways movement maybe for 2 3 years many of you if you started somewhere around 2017 18 or around pandemic may not have ever experienced a recessionary condition in the stock market it can easily extend for 4 5 years the key is to look at the end numbers and not transient dips if you recall i took a note of the last end number and then compared to that that's your goal if that goal is not impacted much then you are good and like i showed have an option to add more on dips if you can this applies to sip as well as swp to get rid of the damage done by a crash or a correction also don't panic and don't sell unless you have something better to buy but there is not much point in sitting on cash because you can't predict the crash the thursday event if it happens that has come unannounced though everyone was expecting it let's hope for a peaceful thursday meanwhile have good rest tomorrow it's a public holiday hope this session was useful thanks for watching and i'll see you on thursday